In this video, I'll show you how to use the cutout opacity function in Arnold. So let's get started. Let's start with setting up our scene. It will be fairly simple, but let's do it. First, let's add a plane object. And then let's press on minus Z here. Let's make it around 500 centimeters width and 500 height let's add our camera to the scene from Arnold's menu choose Arnold's camera perspective camera now press again on the camera object in the object managers and then in the attributes go to coordinates and then zero out everything here Now let's move it backwards, let's move the camera backwards around um, minus 500 centimeters. Now in the object tab in the attribute manager, let's change the focal lens to around 70. Let's head back to the object manager again and duplicate the plane. Call the first one BG for background and the second one object. Move the second one that's called object near the camera a bit, like around 50 or 60 centimeters, and change its width and height to around 100 centimeters. Now let's add some lighting. Let's go to Arnold's menu and then add an Arnold sky. It will light up the scene. Now let's use our camera. And we're seeing nothing, so let's press MB for grudge shading. And then now let's press on this icon here to show up our material manager. Now it's time to create our materials. So let's head to create and then Arnold surface. And then standard surface, this will be our background material. Let's apply it to the background plane there. Use your scroll wheel to click on the background material to open the, shad the shader network editor. Zero out the weight in this pickler and hit to the color to change it to something. Let's use the value of 100 and 90 and the saturation of 55 now let's make a new material to use it as our logo material now let's create a new arnold's material to show the cutout function we will call this object let's apply it to our object and open the shader network editor and inside it let's drag our logo i already went ahead and made two versions of it a colored version that has some textures on it and an alpha map to drive the cutout opacity function let's start with the colored version and attach it to main base and then color and the cutout opacity one, and we will attach it to main geometry and cutout opacity. So let's see what we've got in the IBR window. So this is the result. If you don't like it or you see it stretched out or anything like that, head to the object manager and click on the material tag and then change the projection to flat. Let's move this aside and then hit to up, up here and then choose the texture icon. Make sure you selected the texture tag and then start moving this around. You can scale it as much as you want. You can scale it as much as you want so it fits. And there you go. Now let's say that you want 
a different color for the area that you have already deleted or removed from the geometry using the alpha map well that's fairly easy first let's stop our IBR window minimize it and open the object material now let's add another standard surface shader that will drive our color or texture or whatever we want so we will mix these two shaders together by using a mix shader let's connect this to the Arnold shader output and then connect the surf two surface shaders to the two inputs in the mix shader this is shader 1 and this is shader 2 and for the mix we will use our alpha map let's connect it let's run the IBR to see what we got as you can see you can control the white geometry around the logo using this shader right here let's choose another color something like this for example and there you go